Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to get Tashita in Blocks Fruits. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out and it is free. Let's get straight into the video. So the first step you will need is to be level 2000 at least. Once you're level 2000, over here is the Elite Hunter. Talk to them, they'll tell you where an Elite enemy is. Go hunt them down. When you kill them, they have a chance to drop the God Chalice, or Chalice of the Gods. Now, with that, use your three legendary Haki colors if you have them, or you can use someone else's. This over here is Snow White Pad. You have to equip Snow White Haki color and step on this. The next one is behind this big tower thing. It's the red one. It's already activated here. And the final one's all the way up there, which I think is Winter Sky. Yep, the Winter Sky right here. Then once you've activated all of them, over here, you equip your chalice, pretend my sword's a chalice, walk up to that, and the boss will spawn right over here. Now what you would want to do is ignore the boss, the boss is annoying. And go all the way to Hydra Island. That's the island with the crown, or looks like a crown. This is the teleporter to get to it. And then it will be all foggy. Head through here. And then you see this water. You have to go off the waterfall. <laughs> and then down here is a secret entrance, so just go through. Now use something to destroy this. I got venom, so I'll do that. Now, kill all of the zombies. I think I have killed all of the zombies now. And here's the entrance, you look at the sword, and up this waterfall, you have to go through it. And here is a portal. Again, you have to be level 2000 to go through the portal. Once you go through the portal, it would take you to this spot on Turtle Island. Now, once you're here, remember again, it will be really foggy, so you probably won't be able to see as far as that thing, that enemy. So, you are going to want to follow the path, and when it splits off, go to the right, and go to the right again. And then up here, at this bridge type thing, in your inventory you'll have a holy torch. You use that, walk up to this, and it should light on fire. Then you head back out, follow the path to your next pillar over here. Behind it, you just walk up to the with the torch again, light that on fire, go back to the dirt path, follow the dirt path. until you get to this tree right here. Once you're at the tree, head up to the top, tippity top, pineapple. And in here will be the third one, the third torch. So light that on fire and head out. Get back to the path and head to your right. Jump up the rocks. Turn left. Come down these and follow the path all the way to the mansion. From here, you're going to turn right and go up these stairs. Or, I guess you'd call them stairs, yeah. Then all the way over here to this pirate ship boat thing and there's the fourth torch you light that on fire and you head back go down here follow the path around this fallen building and then the building next to it with a red roof will have the final torch use it once you light all of them on fire it should say well done you may enter my lair now 
So from the mansion, you are going to want to head out, follow the right path. Turn right here, and the door has now opened. Go through, and there is a boss, Longma. You are going to want to kill it. Just quickly note that the boss does not show on observation hockey. Once you have killed the boss, you will get Toshida. Toshita showcase time! So the first move is Heavenly Lunges. You have to hold down the Z key and it will poke your enemy lots of times and then send them flying back. I've got no stats in my sword so it doesn't do too much damage. This is Heavenly Lunges again. The next move is Celestial Ravenger. Press the X key and let go to get sent forward in lots of slices carrying the enemy with you. You can hold it down to make it go further as I will show. If I hold it down as you can see it went in you let go and it goes further. This is Celestial Ravenger again. Tushid is very good for PvP and for catching people especially with the Heavenly Lunges. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.